Today we're going to be going over a three-unit apartment building in one of the cheapest markets in the United States. Scott, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to the 221st episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where I work with investors just like you to help you guys uh, build real estate portfolios, start real estate portfolios, manage your real estate portfolios, right? And the client that I'm working with today, guy by the name of Scott living in California. And Scott, you came uh, to me, you came to Holton Wise. You got yourself a multi-pack of the MLS search and analysis, which uh, is what you see here, folks. So if you like what you see in today's show and you want to work with me in the same way Scott is, you go to HoltonWise.com, click the MLS search and analysis tab, or I'm sorry, click the property for sale tab, then click the MLS search and analysis tab, order yourself a package, right? You'll work with me in the same way Scott is, right? And Scott, you got a multi-property uh, package, and you wanted specifically to target three and four unit properties, okay? You were looking specifically for uh, three or four unit properties in C-class neighborhoods. One thing I got to fully disclose to you, make sure you're aware of with the Cleveland market, okay? When we built up all of our housing stock in the Cleveland area, we have a lot of single families, a whole, whole bunch of single families. Then it narrows a little bit. We have a ton of two families, not as many single families, but we still have quite a bit of two families. Then we move up to like six unit apartment buildings, huge stock of six unit apartment buildings, then a smaller stock of bigger things. Notice I didn't mention a lot of three and four units because there are not a lot of three and four unit properties here in the Cleveland market. Luckily, one just came back on the market, which I have up here for you, and we'll go over that in a second. But I want you to be aware. This is in a neighborhood that I would consider to be probably a D-class neighborhood. However, it is my favorite D-class neighborhood because it's very close to the Metro Health Campus. They are investing a billion dollars into that campus and the surrounding neighborhood. Plus, it's very, very close uh, to neighborhoods that have had gentrified previously. Ohio City, Detroit, Shoreway, Gordon Square, things of that nature, right? It's literally the Mendoza line here between that and on the south, the C-class neighborhood, and then to the north, those nice neighborhoods, right? So for all those reasons, I'm very confident in this neighborhood, but I need you to be aware that it is a D-class neighborhood. And if you would like uh, to, to really stick to those C-class or above neighborhoods, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to expand your search uh, to include two-family homes because we'll be able to put forth a lot of two-family homes. Or if you're uh, really, really hell-bent on three to four units, specifically C-class or above, just know that I can keep my eyes out for you, keep my eyes and ears uh, open, but it may be like several months between videos, right? Because I can't sell you what's not available, and they don't come on come along every day because there's just not a lot of uh, stock, right? So I thought this one would work for you, but you got the multi-property package from us, and that's what this is all about, right? You give me what you want to do, I take that information, then I go one way or the other, and then I give it back to you, and you give me additional feedback, right? So it, it could be, hey, let's do this deal. This is great. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Or, hey, you know what? I specifically want three and four units, and it specifically has to be C-class. So if it takes six months or a year before I could take one down, that's fine because these – uh, packages do not expire, guys. When you buy these from us, we bank them in your account, and they do not expire. So if you bought the 10-pack, you know, we could work on your 10-pack for a period of 10 years. That's totally fine. We are here to be your long-term boots-on-the-ground partner, right? So all that said, though, Scott, let's talk about this house, okay? It's a three-unit, came back on the market for $80,000, right? I actually analyzed this for another client several months ago, right when the coronavirus outbreak, like, blew up and everybody had to shut down. I was working from home. So the footage you're about to see is when I analyzed it from him originally in my home office. Because, dude, this triplex is exactly 
what you want. It's going to fit into exactly what you're going to be doing. So as soon as I saw this thing pop up on the MLS, I'm like, damn, dude, I got to hop on and get that video over to Angus. So without further ado, 5400 Denison Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This has just been listed two days ago. I saw it last night for the first time by a Keller Williams agent. They listed this thing at $75,000. As far as our photos, we don't have too, too much, right? We just got four little exterior photos, but that's okay. We'll write our offer contingent on a home inspection, right? With these three units. Two of them are apartments. Each have three beds. One has one bath, one has two. They're renting them for $675, $650, and the third is a retail space. I believe it's like an office space of some sort. All long-term tenants here. So we're bringing in $1,800 a month or $21,600 a year. Great thing about unit one and two, those residential spaces, seeing as they're three-bedroom units, I think we can get that rent up a little bit as the neighborhood currently sits. So I wouldn't say we try to move these folks out or anything. I mean, this thing is, is cash flowing great right now as it sits. But... Uh, at the next turnover, you know, we should be able to rent each of those units for 700 or more. As far as that retail tenant, at the moment, I would say we leave them alone. Don't try to get greedy. Don't try to get more rent out of them right now. Uh, you know, the reason that I've targeted this neighborhood for you and targeted this neighborhood for you in the past is I'm very high on this neighborhood. Currently, I see it as a D, a D grade neighborhood, okay? D grade neighborhood. However, I think it's the best D-grade neighborhood in the Cleveland market. To the north, right to the north, we got the hot stuff. Edgewater, Gordon Square, Tremont, Ohio City. We got all that stuff to the north. To the west, Lakewood, Rocky River, super high-end suburbs. To the south, okay, C-class neighborhood, just classic C-class neighborhood. So the north, the west, the south, all better than this particular neighborhood right now in this neighborhood, to the east, in this particular neighborhood, just to the east, very, very close, a few minutes away by car, is a hospital, Metro Health, one of the biggest hospitals in the Cleveland area, if not the country, okay? Huge hospital, huge medical center. They're committed to investing $1 billion in their facility and in the surrounding neighborhood. So because we got awesome stuff going on to the north, awesome stuff going on to the west, better quality stuff than what we see here in this neighborhood to the south and then just in this name neighborhood to the east we've got a billion dollars of investment i think this is the next neighborhood in the cleveland market that's going to see some appreciation and will one day become a better neighborhood than it is currently so that's why i've been so high in this neighborhood and i think investing in this neighborhood makes a lot of sense currently though it's risky so we got to account for that risk right now and when we do turn over uh, those two retail, or not the retail unit, rather, when we do turn over those two residential units, I think it would be smart to go Section 8, right? I think it would just make the most sense right now and, until we see some turn in the neighborhood. And hey, man, I could be wrong, dude. This neighborhood could never turn. But, you know, that's what speculation is. But I am not like a big like invest for speculation guy. Uh, I don't try to make crazy bets. But uh, whenever there is like actionable data showing me a reasonable expectation that things are going to be better, such as a freaking billion dollars being invested in the neighborhood, uh, you know, I think it's fair to assume that there probably will be, a, you know, an increase in quality over here, right? Like, it's not often you funnel in a billion bucks to a uh, low-income neighborhood and stuff doesn't turn around, especially when the neighborhood's got amazing stuff to the north, great stuff to the west, good stuff to the south, right? I mean, it makes sense. So accounting for the current risks, though, 1800 comes in, you know, we got 90, 90 and 90 for our CapEx or vacancy or repairs and maintenance. Like they haven't uh, said anything about having new roofs, new furnaces, new hot water tanks. So I believe they're all going to be mid to end of life. I do not anticipate anything is going to be brand new in here. So we got to account for that, right? Remember roofs, they last 30 years here in the Cleveland market, a shingle roof like this, that's probably a good six, $7,000 roof, big old building, maybe even like 8,000. Okay. Furnaces, we should have three. They're going to last about 30 years. I'm guessing they're all probably close to that age. Each are going to cost about three grand to replace hot water tanks. Last 15 years, they cost about a grand. So uh, whenever we do replace that stuff, you know, still factor in the 90 bucks for CapEx, 90 for vacancy and non-payment, 90 for repairs and maintenance. Because your biggest repair and maintenance stuff happens at your turnovers, right? So right now, 
Let's take in the current rents. But when we do turn over, dude, let's go section eight. We'll increase the rents. We'll get you above 700 for the residential units and we'll lower your turnovers. Okay. Taxes, 82. Insurance, 100. You know the deal, Angus. We could insure this for you. We're able to handle your construction, your maintenance. Uh, we got title reps. We got it all, including insurance. Everybody else, click the show notes below. We could insure rental properties across the nation. Don't even have to be here in the Cleveland market like Angus is doing, man. You could have a nice little portfolio in several states and uh, reach out to us, man. Let's insure that portfolio because all we do we're appointed through farmers and several independent agents. All we do is work with landlords. So our entire business model is taking landlord portfolios, shopping them around and getting you the lowest possible rates, right? Like if you're insuring your rental property portfolio through the same guy that's insuring your house or your boat or your car, okay? I guarantee you that guy doesn't have the knowledge in these types of assets. A lot of these assets are on the low spectrum in regards to like, uh, you know, building price, things in that nature, right? Like, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there watching the show looking to buy a $75,000 triplex don't live in a $75,000 house, right? So we are really, really, really well versed in this type of asset class, these hundred year old properties. That's what we do. I guarantee you we'll be able to put together a better price for you every year than your current guys. So click in the notes below, get yourself a quote so we can see if we can't lower that premium. You know, lowering this premium, that's another way to make a little bit more money. If you're one of those investors, that's not like Angus trying to go out and get more revenue during this coronavirus outbreak, right? If you can't go out and try to find new revenue, well, you better fucking keep the revenue that you already got in your pocket. Don't let it go out the back door. All right, Scott. So that's what I thought about the property back then. Feel the same way. And uh, he actually tried purchasing the property uh, but we got outbid by whoever took it off market at that time. And then, you know, I since went on with that investor to do some other things. So he's no longer, uh, you know, at the plate trying to purchase this property. We did some other stuff with him. Um, so this one is very much available for you. They just listed it back on the market, $80,000. Let me know if you'd like to move forward with this deal. If so, reply to the email that we sent you privately. If not, that's totally fine. Just give me some more feedback. Let me know what you want to do. Are you hell-bent on sticking with the three and four units? Are you hell-bent on sticking with uh, C-Class? Uh, let me know if this video kind of opened up what you're looking to do. Or, you know, just give me some feedback so I know what to do on your very next video. Everybody else, just so you know, if you're watching this show on Holton Wise TV, this deal is no longer available. I keep these private until the dust settles, till the deal is done. When the deal is no longer, you know, at risk of you guys watching Scott's video and stealing his deal, right? It'd be horrible service for Scott to pay me to analyze these properties. But then I just shoot it out to 40,000 subscribers for free, right? That ain't, that ain't going to make no damn sense, right? We ain't going to do that. Uh, so if you're watching this and you're not Scott, this deal is already gone. But after the dust settles, guys, I release them all publicly on Holton Wise TV so you guys could all learn. Because before you start buying, before you start doing what Scott is doing, the first step is education. And that's what we do here on Holton Wise TV. So if you're a brand new investor and you just stumbled on this after Googling things about real estate investing, do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button so you can get all of our latest content because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. 
RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.